And it's Ken Kreitzer in New York City for CVSI Services. We're at the Pace Association, Professional Association for Customer Engagement Holiday Event. And uh, I had a chance to hear a uh, terrific speaker today, Sharon Roberts of SBR. And Sharon talked about initiating change and uh, uh, trying to help uh, organizations with improvement. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. how did you get in this field, uh, Sharon? Well, uh I've been in, uh, we started the business in 2001, and our focus has always been as consultants to optimize our clients' organizations' processes, their performance, um, either in the areas of customer service, sales, marketing communications, and I had heard about ethnography back in, in the early 1990s when P&G talked about how they turned a mop into a Swiffer. And it was through that uh, initial discovery, and then later on I heard more about ethnography and how product development companies were using it to develop prototypes and put them in the hands of people and develop solutions that people could actually try. When I heard about that, I thought there might be a, a, an appropriate way to use it in products that are less visible, which happens to be where we spend a lot of our time. About 75% of our business is in you know, health insurance, general insurance, technology, software, uh, and financial services, so more complicated and less visible products. And we found that ethnography, the study of culture and the behavior of people in that culture, uh, really could make a difference instead of just delivering on the promise of everyone has to use best practice. Absolutely. And one of your points today, very well taken, was when you go out to a client assignment is uh, you're observing uh, the process and you, and you try not to make corrections on, on, the, on the spot, which uh, is uh, challenging. But uh, just tell us about the importance of observing practice in order to uh, make a long-term change. Oh, for us, we believe it's really the only way. There hasn't been an engagement where we have not used the rapid ethnography that we had. We, ha we have an ethnographer on staff that hasn't used that particular methodology, which at its core is always observing the behaviors of people. So instead of just automatically saying, this is the solution to your problem and there's only one way to do it, we move into the company for very short periods of time because we have to work rapidly and we use the rapid ethnography to be able to diagnose and get as close as possible to the frontline employees and anyone that's touching the process that wherein the problem lies. Absolutely. One of the points I really enjoyed hearing was the importance of simplicity uh, in process and, uh, and also and how that ends up generating better results, uh, both loyalty and dividend uh, for your clients. Tell us about how you help a, a client develop uh, simplicity in their process. Well, to us, simplicity is at the core of everything as well, because, you know, ethnography is a per rapid ethnography that we use is a perfect way to get to the heart of a problem. And it's always around simplifying Whatever it is you're doing as a company for that end user, or whether it's B2B or B2C, simplicity is critical. And the corporations that we work with, inherently in almost all of those, complexity is at the heart of everything they do. And it's working with them to make it easy so that and everyone wants their life be, to be made simpler. Who doesn't, right? So the idea behind this is always to figure out the look at the complexity and then determine how could we make it easier for that front end employee? Because if it's easier for them, it's going to be easier for the person that they're interacting with. So the other thing is I'm going to uh, uh, have a uh, just make a shout out to Siegel and Gale. Um, they're they call themselves a simplicity company. They're a brand company, and we you can find their study on their website. And they have been able to show how simplicity actually impacts revenue gains and losses. And so the companies that are way on the bottom in terms of simplicity, like health insurance and, you know, the cable companies where everything is just so complicated, the revenue is lower as compared to the companies where things are much made much easier. For example, like an Amazon. Absolutely. And Sharon, I know your uh, company is based up in Connecticut. Maybe just tell us a little bit about uh, some of the typical services that you may provide a client and uh, how we can uh, see more information on your website. 
Our website is consult, S, B like in boy, R like in Robert.com. So you can go there to find out more information, see some case studies, and then you can always contact us. Uh, we're happy to talk to anyone about how we use uh, rapid ethnography to solve some massive, massive problems. Generally, you're going to find us in the areas of field sales, inside sales, customer service, marketing communications, where you're looking to enhance any one of those processes. We do work quite a bit in call centers as well, so inside sales and then customer service. And what you're Generally, companies are coming to us, these really complicated large corporations, that is with complex products, they're usually coming to us to help them solve a problem such as we're not meeting sales goals. We uh, have to turn around our, our department and uh, the processes that we've employed for years just aren't working. Do we really need as many people as we have? Is there any way to make it better? So it's constantly um, on the side of optimization. The other thing we've been asked to do and we've done quite a bit of is build uh, inside sales operations from the ground up. And we've done it for a number of organizations, uh, two that I can think of in under 90 days, which is pretty fast. Uh, for some reason, clients have come to us when they're at that moment of truth where they have no choice but to institute something really quickly. So we work quickly, and those are the arenas that you'll usually find us in, as I mentioned before, healthcare, uh, general insurance, um, you know, financial services, uh, software technology, but we also work on the product development side as well, product companies, that is. That's terrific. Sharon Roberts of SBR, based up in Connecticut. Thank you for joining us at the Pace Association here in New York City today. A terrific presentation. Thank you so much for having me, and it was the Pace organization is a wonderful organization to be a part of, so I enjoyed uh, being able to speak to them today. Thank you so much. This is Ken Kratzer for CBSI Services in New York City at the Pace Professional Association for Customer Engagement Holiday Meeting here in New York City.